Hello Pisces, how are you doing? Welcome to your love reading. <laughs> okay, let's see what's happening at this time. This is a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Signs. Okay, and let's take a look at where things are going during this time frame. All right, what's happening, where things are going here with Pisces, what are the vibes in love? What are the vibes in love? Pisces, Pisces. Someone here is overthinking about this connection a lot, okay? Um, I feel like they want you. Sometimes I feel like, you know, this person wonders if you want them the same here. Um, and again, this could be you, Pisces, but someone here, it's like they overthink the situation to the point where it's like assumptions are now, um, you know, added to the, the scenario here. So I feel like someone here, it's like, I can't get you out of my mind. I can't get you out of my mind. I'm, I, I, I wonder if you feel me. I wonder if you feel me, Pisces. So you've definitely caught someone's attention. It says I'm driving myself crazy. Thoughts of you keep on consuming me. All right. And I feel like this is someone here that never really thought that they would feel this way. Um, it has nothing to do with, um, you know, you in a sense of like, I never thought I would like you per se, but I feel like it's more so like, I never thought I would fall for a connection this deeply, or I never thought that I would be consumed with an energy this, especially if this is a Leo or a Virgo or a Libra, I'm hearing L, okay? Um, but I get this energy of, you know, tell me how you feel. And if you really feel this way, please prove it to me. All right, so Pisces, if somebody's constantly on your mind, I just want to let you know that you're on their mind too, all right? And I'm also hearing what you think is going to happen may not actually happen, right? Someone here could be also thinking negatively like, oh God, you know, I really don't see this working out or I'm overthinking about my decision at this time. Um, Spirit is saying everything's going to work out, okay? Everything is going to work out. Rest is, uh, again, suggested, but... I just get that the two of you are deeply connected and there's not much that's breaking that at this time, except for overthinking, right? Where it's like assumptions. All right, let's get a little bit more. But you're on someone's mind, Pisces. I'm surprised you're not, I mean, some of you could ultimately know this already or you're already in a relationship, but golly, this person is saying Pisces is all over my mind here, living in my mind here, okay? And look at them. I feel like this person's trying to fight it. You're not doing a very good job at it at all. Especially if this person has like a lot of water in their chart here. They're trying to fight it. It says, the harder I try to resist you, uh, the weaker it seems to be or the weaker I seem to be. All right. So I don't feel like this is something here that is working out for someone. I will say that this person could be younger than you. If not, I feel like this person, it's like they're going to express to you like I've never felt this way before. Ever. Okay, this could be someone you work with, Pisces. This could be someone you've known for a very long time. But they're saying like, um, you know, how do I actually get this out of my head? I'm also getting like distance here. Could, did I say Leo? I get distance here between the two of you where it's like, mm, I get distance, but I also get this weird message. And I feel like it may resonate for someone that's watching this. Um, I get this message of, as I was walking or as I was watching something, I ran into someone that either looks like you, reminded me of you, or sounds like you. There was some sort of flashback that came about upon going about my daily day, like my daily routines here. So someone here, it's like they're in a space of, you know, this literally came out of nowhere. This came out of nowhere. Um, I, I felt something so different at that moment. And ever since then here, like the truth has been exposed to me in terms of how I still miss you, how I still feel about you, how I currently feel about you. So it was like an epiphany. I don't feel like it was anything you did. Another question that's coming in here is, are you actually the one that got away here? Someone here is wondering if you are completely stepping away or um, if this is going to be them ultimately. Something must have happened here in terms of maybe trust or 
I feel like someone here felt like maybe they had a hold on you, but now realizing that they surely don't. Um, and I feel like, again, this is something here that's bothering them. Maybe you had a fling with this person, or maybe this person thought that it would be just a fling. And now they're starting to realize, like, actually, this is deeper here. Be very careful, Pisces, of people that actually have a tendency of going back to their ex here or still um playing or portraying like a double life here make sure you know you know a little bit more about this person uh it doesn't change how this person feels about you but this could be someone here that is still you know out there all right still connecting with other people still possibly distracting themselves by sleeping with people here i feel like this person really hasn't learned their lesson as of yet or they're in the midst of learning a lesson here uh let's get more for this overall connection is there anything else that pisces needs to know in the current energy at the current time as well okay uh i want to send you messages these are a lot of intense energies here okay someone here is saying like look i have a lot of messages i want to send you there's things i want to say to you this person feels like you put a spell on them even if you did or did not this person feels like you did i feel like this person is like looking at their phone this person going back and forth with their thoughts here okay so and again that pisces energy is strong all right, cross watchers here. Um, Pisces, don't be surprised here if you get a message from this person very soon. If not, this is what they're thinking. They're thinking about sending it, especially if you're connecting with a air sign or even a Virgo, Capricorn Taurus here. All right, this person wants to say something to you. They want to express something to you. Um, I'm also hearing someone here had a child with someone or there's a child here involved or um, someone here or there's like a message of a child that may be coming in for some of you or children may be involved for some of the Pisces coming in here or there's something about your child also that has been capturing a lot of your attention all right um, but I'm just seeing someone's child or a child like walking in between this reading all right let's get a little bit more please here we have a love triangle okay some of you wonder like is this person you know connecting with other people is this person still holding on to me but yet still um reaching out to past people here i will say you may connect with someone that has a tendency of again distracting themselves what could we expect anything else that we could expect here look at them trying to send a message they, this person is so worried i can't even go around this message like you know, I'm trying to make the a cross watcher. I'm really trying to help you out here. But whoever this is, right, this could be Pisces. But someone here is very, very concerned, very, very concerned here, very concerned, concerned, curious. I'm wondering about the commitment. I'm wondering if you want me. I'm wondering if you're interested. I'm wondering if we could work this out. What is happening with this energy? All right. So let's see. Let's clear this energy out here to see um what's happening we have they will call so expect a call from someone all right expect some sort of message also or someone may try to call and hang up um i'm getting also um but this is not someone here that's wanting to give up not wanting to give up at all let's see what tarot has to say <laughs> let's see what tarot has to say here all right let's go a little bit more in love all right something came out look at this I will say this for you, Pisces. There's a lot of changes that needs to be done, and I feel like someone knows that. Um, there's a lot of changes that I feel like you're going to implement into your love life, into your family life, into how you go about love here that's going to be completely different for you. So there's a big shift here in the way Pisces is showing up, in the way Pisces is, again, giving here. Okay, so um, I feel like for some of you, you may think something's over. It's not that it's over. There's a transitional energy happening, taking place here. So you'll be surprised the next time you connect with a certain individual here, it comes off as if you're just a completely different person to them. All right, whether that's them showing up um, with, uh, again, being more expressive and that's them, uh, again, showing up like, wow, Pisces actually uh, almost was the one that got away. I don't know why this person's feeling like you're leaving or getting away here. Is that what you're doing, Pisces? 
some of you could be walking away from a situation. You're breaking cycles. You're open to new opportunity. I love the Wheel of Fortune for you because it means things are moving. Things are picking up. Things are not staying the same. We're not staying on the same time. We're not doing the same thing over and over again. All right. Some of you literally had to do something different in order to pull someone into their comfort zone or out of their comfort zone, or you had to do something different to pull yourself out of a comfort zone. So there's a strong energy of shifts and big changes happening. And let me tell you, these changes are putting a lot of people into worry mode, right? Uh-oh, losing Pisces. Uh-oh, Pisces is not showing up the same anymore. Uh-oh, Pisces is not the person that's um, constantly giving the yes and the okay anymore, okay? That's the vibe I'm getting here with this, right? So for a lot of you here, it's like you're standing back. What could Pisces expect here moving forward? Uh, you get a lot of love offers here, um, but I feel like you're more protective of yourself. But there's a strong energy of you attracting more people or more energies of uh, clear love. All right. More potent love here. All right. I really see maybe like a mother figure supporting you or there's a friend, a female friend that comes around that gives you a lot of support um, and a lot of great advice as well here. Someone you're able to express yourself to Pisces. But I see you in the space of really stepping back and saying, look, oh, this is what I deserve. This is what I really want here. And I feel like someone here is going to match your energy. They're going to match your energy and they're going to understand what Pisces is um, wanting here. Um, and again, this could be an energy of self-fulfillment, which I love, right? So a lot of self-love. I see you changing your eating habits here. I do see you, again, overthinking about a situation in terms of what direction to take. I do feel like spirit is going to guide you in that energy, so it's not permanent here, okay? And some of you also, you're going to uh, release people that are guarded release people that are not open for love especially a gemini libra aquarius if you're connecting with anybody that's super guarded that's been confusing you i feel like you literally start to change the momentum in, in that energy and you start to step back from that or step back from people that are um emotionally cold or uh blocking your wheel of fortune energy i just get this vibe of like don't don't block me like don't block my growth is what I'm vibing here, what I'm getting here. Yeah, I feel like you start distracting yourself with other things here. Um, you actually start putting people on um, this. Why did I hear wait lists? Wow. Uh, some of you may actually put somebody on a wait list. Like if you're not, if you're not available, like I'm hearing you snooze, you lose here. So people that are not really prioritizing love or forward movement, you may actually put them on a wait list, like put them aside here and start really just focusing on what you were here to do, which is being a giver, being a lover and being a healer. Some of you are deep healers here or you're, oh wow. You may actually attract uh, someone here that could be your long-term energy here. Once you actually start putting people that don't understand how to move forward on the back burner or on a wait list, you start to attract actually what you've been manifesting, which I love here. All right. Expect some sort of call here. There's a call that will come in and this call comes from someone here that you possibly had to let go or you let go of at some some point. Um, and again, don't allow anyone to confuse you in the forward energy here. But I do feel like someone here is going to want to come in and say, you know what, like I want to meet up or there is some sort of reconciliation. I've had an epiphany here. Mm. <laughs> I've had an epiphany um, and I miss you. Okay. I will talk to you soon. Very, very soon, Pisces. I love you. Like, share, subscribe. And again, if you are interested in a personal reading, everything is below. Have a beautiful one. Say you love me.